What's up guys, Alex here, and as we've seen over the last week, my name has been slandered so much. And there's one particular case I want to cover because the person that has been, one of the people that have been slandering me constantly with lies, turns out this person is employed by Wowhead. The Wowhead Mage author for Classic, who also moderates the Mage Discord, who admits that Wowhead fired their old author and hired him. So yes, he's a confirmed Wowhead employee, and this person goes by Felipe1998W on Reddit and Epiloof. Now, why am I covering this person specifically? Because of what I'm about to show you and the fact that he works at the number one World of Warcraft fan site. He is, that is, most people would say, does have heavy, heavy Blizzard connections. And this guy is, in a way, a public figure. Writes guides, etc. So, the first thing you'll see here is this Wowhead... Felipe on Reddit, Wowhead Mage author here. Hopefully this helps. So he admits he's the Wowhead Mage author. He says here that they fired their old author and hired him in phase three. Then you go to the next thing. This is him on the Wowhead, Felipe. He's a premium user of Wowhead. You can see more details there. First, we'll start off with this one. And there's a lot of this. He says, I mean, obviously, dude me is an actual neo-nazi openly last thing the classic i don't know what he's saying there but here he is calling me an actual neo-nazi on june 12th four days ago and he says i'm openly a neo-nazi this is just a picture of him on his twitch that shows that you know that is indeed him and uh felipe also interesting picture here there's a lot of stuff here you'll see from his reddit account here he starts by saying, almost like having Alex's entire community harassing you after Alex doxed him, meaning Cargos, which no one doxed Cargos because Cargos' information is public online, and he calls us schizos. Then he says, ye, not a scam by any means. A schizo, calls me a schizo again, ex-content creator, also a lie because I'm currently a content creator, who fell off after having a full-on breakdown, I never had a mental breakdown, who's also known for yelling out slurs, I don't yell out slurs, and shit is on a brigade against RXP. I didn't call for a brigade. Believes RXP and hardcore community are in cahoots for profit. Uh, well, this didn't age well. Some tinfoil schizo shit calls me schizo again. He says here, the guy who made the video is a neo-Nazi who's insane anti-LGBTQ plus and has several videos saying racist slurs. First of all, I am not anti-LGBTQ+. I am just not a fan of it in the games. I do have no issue with gay people at all. If you ask for my opinion, I'll tell you that. And then he says here, saying racist slurs. Yeah, I don't openly say racist slurs. Then he says, then there's the fact that he's asking his Discord to brigade the subreddit. Didn't ask my Discord to brigade the subreddit. I link threads, but I don't ask people to brigade. Then he says here, both of those aren't doing them any favors. These are the people currently brigading this thread. He's also constantly in our Discord on an anonymous account and constantly is stalking uh, my Discord. And he says here, ye they are. They're brigading almost every WoW-related subreddit right now. The only WoW-related subreddit we talk about is Classic WoW. At the request of Alex to spread his video and stream, he's trying to make another comeback. Never said I was making a comeback. I'm just making videos. Again, calls me schizo. Then he says, insane how even Alex's insane fans, so he calls you guys insane, are so qu quite to say they've never watched it because even how impossible to defend he is. So he says, you guys don't watch my videos. Instead, just try to make it about the video itself, which itself is also schizo, calls me schizo again, bending the truth to fit the narrative he's already planned out. Alex is a neo-Nazi who's been doing this type of shit for years now, and he's dox he doxes cargos. Um, Cargo's information is public and his name was all on his social media. That is not doxing. Again, the tinfoil version is way more likely. Alex Sensual fans sound like flat earthers. Alex Sensual is a neo-Nazi, racist, homophobe, sexist, anti-Semitic, schizo. Amazing. Again, calls that I'm brigading a subreddit. He says again here, Alex Sensual is a neo-Nazi, racist, homophobe. 
Oh, I guess I'm just repeating it. Sorry there. But there's more here. Alex Central is a neo not this one's different. Alex Central is a neo Nazi, racist, homophobe, sexist, anti Semitic, private server schizo who is a discord of like minded people and puts out insane videos. So, yes, tin, insane tinfoil. He's just copy pasting the same comment. Alex Central has been doxing cargos. So he says I'm doxing cargos again, <laughs> using his discord to send people here to brigade. Not surprising considering Alex Central, again, he says, a known neo Nazi, insane person. You can see him make a shitload of videos about black people and Jews, as well as racial slurs. Huh. Again, he says, this guy is a known neo-Nazi, insane racist, homophobe, transphobe, sexist POS from private servers who has repeatedly doxed people. What? And did it again in the same video, finding and linking the RXP guy's LinkedIn, which is public information. And real life information because he's a vindictive shitter. All public. You can just Google his name on YouTube and look at clips of him yelling out the N word. Wait, what? You can Google his name on YouTube and look at. Listen, I know there's clips of me out there from like eight years ago out of out of out of context things. I don't I have never yelled out the N word proudly before. This YouTuber guy is in his Discord asking his community to comment on the Reddit thread. I never said that. I never told him to. Again, posting this video by the neo-Nazi and neo-Nazi insane private server guy. So cringe. Didn't a thread with this video just get deleted because it's made by a neo-Nazi? <laughs> There's more guys. This this guy is mad at everything. He was mad when Blizzard announced they would increase debuff slots from eight to more when Classic released. Well, yeah. He's an anti-Semitic, sexist, homophobe, neo-Nazi, piece of shit, that's currently being asking his YouTube fans to come to this thread and support him. You can find plenty of clips of him making insane extreme right claims, as well as blatant, blatant racist slurs being said on his stream before he got banned on Twitch. What? The author of this video is an extreme neo-Nazi, racist, sexist, homophobic POS. Does not help that the guy who made this video is an extreme right neo-Nazi who has several videos of him repeatedly saying the N-word. I don't have any videos of me saying the N-word. That's kind of the loophole. Then he says here, heads up, the guy who made this video is, a no again, no neo-Nazi, insane person from the class community. Pretty easy to Google his name, Alex Central, and find insane clips of him saying racial slurs. We'll go over that towards the end. It's not done yet, guys. Context, for those who might know, Alex Central is a racist, homophobic, neo-Nazi. Just another conspiracy theory. This guy making the video is a racist, neo-Nazi. Classic private server, racist, neo-Nazi. Mental breakdown every 6 to 12 months. Again, neo-Nazi posted the same comment in a different thread. Extreme online racist and neo-Nazi who has mental breakdown to spills. <laughs> also a neo-Nazi. Then on his Twitch, which unironically... He, he posts in Stay Safe TV stream chat. I wonder if he knows about Stay Safe TV. Alex has been asking on Discord for people to find information about me to dox me. <laughs> Getting death threats because of him. Sure you are. Alex has been asking on Discord for people to find information about me to dox me. Getting death threats because of him. I'm the guy from Reddit he's mad at. And this is just a bonus clip. This person shares the same avatar as someone in the RXP media staff, as you'll see here. This person goes by T Sona Medic. Same exact avatar as Gabby, goes by Gabby Ghoulish, says, Alex Central is an avowed racist. He makes videos doxing people for perceived transgressions. His community stalks and harasses them. They are not worth respect or having in the Discord. This is the quote, why don't we reason with the fascists, of which Alex is one in real time. I mean, seeing what, seeing these is one thing, but reading them out loud is just, again, just want to confirm, guys, uh, this guy is employed by Wowhead. Employed by Wowhead. A site that's directly affiliated, most people would say, with Blizzard. Ain't that something. So when it comes to me, 
about people saying this stuff. I am not perfect, obviously. You know, there have been several clips of me that are, in a way, out of context. Um, there is, for example, one clip of me of a person named Lavos10 on YouTube. It said, like, it says, like, what is Alex Sensual's favorite racial slur or something like that? Or Alex Sensual is racist or something like that. It's like a 29 second clip. The context of that is I was in a Discord voice chat with a bunch of people from the Discord talking with Asmund Gold. If you don't know the Alex Sensual work, it goes back a long time. And back then we were talking about classic wow and i was very upset with classic at the time before it came out because i didn't like how it was being um developed surprise surprise look what happened and we hadn't we were discussing things and it got into debuff slots and i said i want eight debuff slots not 16 at launch because that's how it was on the style race and that's what i liked and that's how it was in the beginning of, and how it wasn't back in the original game and then it got to the point where Asmongold said that he didn't want to play in a private server because the client gave viruses. So at that point, I was very upset with Asmund because he wasn't being very reasonable, so I kicked him from the Discord. Now, then a bunch of people joined the Discord afterwards because there was a little bit of drama, and Lavos10 was on an anonymous account streaming the voice chat. And someone linked it to me, and I said, wow, this guy is literally streaming my voice chat in my Discord without my permission on an anonymous account. Let's see if we can scare him away. So I said something, you know, probably shouldn't have said it, but, you know, I said, you know, what's my favorite racial slur? And obviously I was only saying that to sp spook him away and get him to leave the Discord. I wasn't going to say anything. Should I have said that? No. But that was the context. Now, most people don't know that. But that's the exact story. There's another story, another clip of me saying, you know, quote, uh, it said something like, I hate women, kill them all, or something like that. This was at 3 a.m. after, like, taking vodka shots, after a breakup in real life, and I was upset with the woman or women in general. And I'm not going to apologize for that because you know what? People all the time get upset in real life about public relations. Not surprising people, uh, women say, oh, I hate men or after a breakup or men say, oh, I can't deal with these women or blah, blah, blah. You know, when you're drunk, you say things and, you know, I'm not going to apologize for that. I won't. The other one is something like uh, uh, something I said at three o'clock in the morning, very late while I was live streaming, which I shouldn't have. I was like 12 Bud Lights deep, completely wasted. And I said a stupid, um, uh, you know, racist crack that I believe, yes, I should not have said eight years ago. And that's all they have. And it wasn't even the N-word. It was a stupid cringe joke. That's all they got. I'm not racist at all. But some of these streamers they watch, I guarantee you, are racist. And I know for a fact one of them is. So... That's all I'm going to say on that. And also, I'll just add, most of the women I've dated, I know it doesn't matter. A lot of my ex-girlfriends are not white. Okay? So, just want to say that, but just to share this, that, yes, this guy works at Wowhead. Amazing. Anyway. Catch you guys later. Peace out.